adapted from Fatma, the Osgood Onurme created series Unseen starring Gail Marbelin has just been released on Netflix. So we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview, discuss some hidden details and predict the next season of the series so that you can have the best viewing experience. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the series. So if you haven't been able to catch up with the series yet, maybe you should pause the video and get back to watching it on Netflix. But if you are done watching it already, kindly follow us through the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on. The series starts with Zenzi Mawale, a single woman who tries to earn enough dough by doing odd jobs at factories and as a maid. As the series progresses, we learn that her husband Max was arrested for murder and he is finally getting out today. In some disjointed flashback scenes, we see that they used to have a son but currently he is nowhere to be found in the show and her husband used to be an abuser. She goes to receive her husband from prison but after waiting for a long time, she learns that he had left before she reached here. She goes everywhere in search of him but cannot find him anywhere. After returning home, her drunken landlord tries to have his way with her but his wife manages to save the poor girl. She goes to her employer Raymond and tries to look up Jason Thom, her husband's old associate. She manages to find him out and confront him and when he tries to leave her to take revenge on her husband, she puts a bullet in his stomach with a gun that she stole from Raymond's vault. As she returns to the butchery, she finds out that the police suspect Raymond and his gang in the murder but Raymond finds out that it was Zenzi and he lets her go. But later that day another police officer comes to her and reveals that they suspect her husband for the murders and as she leaves for her home, one of Raymond's gang members approaches her and offers to secretly work for them as a hired gun as no one will suspect her of being a murderer. She tries to learn for whom her husband took the fall but the goon refuses to share the details and tells her that her kid was killed because of her husband's sins. Learning that she could not control her rage and throws the man under a passing chain. Previously we have seen that she works for a well-known writer who is writing a story about Zenzi or someone like her whose presence goes unnoticed every day and he names the story Unsi. In a flashback scene, we learn that Max took a fall for the boss blessing for killing someone named Yazi. He was promised that his family would be taken care of but we know how that turned out to be. In the present, Zenzi meets her sister who is a wealthy woman but they seem to have been out of contact for a long time. She requests her to get the whereabouts of Max as her partner has connections everywhere. Upon returning home, Zenzi finds Raymond waiting for her and he offers her a job to assassinate Blessing which she takes half-heartedly. All the while Zenzi keeps on receiving calls from what she suspects is Max but the only thing she can hear is his breathing. As her landlord is about to sell the house, Zenzi requests him to delay the deal as Max will not be able to find her when he is back but the man tries to blackmail her with a hidden gun for a sexual favor. She gets to the place where her landlord Enrico asked her to be and in the meantime while following her, Raymond gets a call from his boss Blessing and he tells his boss that it was Max who was behind all the murders. It seems he is impressed by Zenzi's invisibility and is trying to protect her so he can use her talents for his own sake. When Enrico tries to force her into submission, she kills him by throwing him off a building under construction. And upon reaching home, she consoles the landlady for her husband's death. The South African police bring in Zenzi to be questioned again about the death of Jackson but a lawyer comes in to help her out. But it is the same lawyer who defended his husband. He gets her out and Zenzi goes to the writer Lufano's place. As she presses up, she receives her sister's call and covertly gets out to meet her. As they sit at a cafe, we learn that her sister had left Zenzi and her sick mother to die with their alcoholic father. And as Zenzi gets out of the cafe after having an argument with her sister, Raymond approaches her and forces her to kill Blessing. She infiltrates his club dressed up as a maid and leaves a poisonous bag of drugs. But as she is about to leave the place, Blessing's drugged out girlfriend walks in and Zenzi has to stay as the girl falls unconscious. Upon reaching his room, Blessing asks Zenzi to leave and when he learns that she is Max's wife, he points a gun at her. But by the time the drug has taken its toll and Zenzi helps him pass over, telling him that she is here to avenge his missing husband and dead child. Raymond's associate walks into the room to find that Blessing is dead and his girlfriend stays quiet about Zenzi because she freed her from the clutches of this monstrous gangster. 
Zenzi and Joseph, one of Raymond's goons, manage to escape the crime scene and Raymond is instated as the new manager of the club. On their way to a jungle, they talk about how Max, after learning that his family was not being taken care of properly, threatened Blessing that he was going to tell everything to the police, so they sent Joseph to threaten his wife. But he tells her that it wasn't him who shot the kid and tries to manipulate her into giving away Raymond's gun that she is holding. Meanwhile, Raymond orders Joseph to take her down, but she manages to escape from his car, and as he pursues her, she kills him. In the meantime, Lufono the writer and Zenzi's sister Naledi meet together to talk about her sister but she is then contacted by the police who ask her to testify against her sister but she refuses to identify her from the video footage. And in the meantime, Zenzi's landlady unlocks her husband's phone and contacts the police after finding something fishy. A dying Joseph tells Zenzi that Max is trying to take down the syndicate and that he is somewhere near Caledon. Zenzi returns to her home and the landlady confronts her for killing her husband. She storms out of there to meet Max and the landlady informs the police that she is on the run. She manages to escape the Caledon police officials from the train and spots where her husband was last seen. As she tries to hide from the police, Max meets her and tells her everything. In the meantime, Raymond reaches Naledi's place but cannot find anything about Zenzi's whereabouts. Then the lawyer of the syndicate informs them that she is in Caledon. Zenzi and Max then meet Yazid's close associate Farouk and convince him to give away every piece of information that he holds that can prove their innocence. As Farouk delivers a hard drive containing the evidence to them, Raymond breaks in and kills him. But the husband and wife escape the police on time. Zenzi and Max get separated from each other while running from the cops. The police capture and arm Max while Zenzi is caught by Raymond. Raymond manages to get his hands on the drive, but Zenzi escapes from his clutches. And as he tried to shoot her down, the police mistakenly thought it was Max who fired his gun and lost several bullets into his body. Hearing the gunshots, Zenzi gets back to her husband, but it is too late. Then finally, we are introduced to the main mastermind behind the syndicate, Andrew, who orders the lawyer to get rid of Raymond and decides to take care of Zenzi himself. Meanwhile, the cops try to get information out of Zenzi and she explains that the entire syndicate was planning a bank heist and framed her husband for the death of one of their associates, who was accidentally killed by Blessing. In the meantime, the policeman gets a report that suggests the gun her husband was holding onto, which was actually Raymond's, was responsible for her son's death, suggesting that what Joseph was telling her was partially true and that it was Raymond who killed her son and then pretended to help her live her life. Then out of the blue, Naledi walks into the interrogation room with a lawyer and promises to help her sister after learning everything. But Zenzi is then misled by two policemen who promise to help her, who actually work for Andrew. And as soon as they reach a quiet place, they try to kill her, but she escapes after killing one of them and takes shelter in Lufono's place. She then goes to the nightclub where Raymond is trying to escape after taking all the money from Blessing's locker. But before he can leave, the lawyer catches him, ties him up and beats him up pretty badly. With the help from Blessing's girlfriend, Zenzi enters the kitchen, starts a fire and then confronts a tired of Raymond who confesses that he killed her son. She doesn't shoot him when she has the chance but leaves him tied up inside the burning place after taking away his asthma pup as she probably wants him to suffer her wrath before he finally dies. She then gets to the rooftop and tries to commit suicide when her sister and the police officers try to persuade her not to commit it and promise to help her out. The show ends on an ambiguous note as it cuts to black before she attempts to jump. The series is a fresh attempt from Netflix but the look and feel of the show are just like an average Netflix release. The performances of the actors are on point with a really decent screenplay to back them up with. There are subtle nuances in the series that add layers to the characters and the story at large. The show successfully keeps us on the edge of our seats and has an inherent thriller feel attached to its entire run. We are pretty sure to get a second season of the show but there has been no confirmation from the side of the streaming giant as of now. But my guess is Zenzi will go after the main villains Andrew and Ruben in the next season and the police will try to help her in her quest. But their mutual understanding will most probably be an on again off again arrangement. Hey, 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 thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching Unseen on Netflix. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one. And for the time being, we are signing off. See you all sport and I'll be back.